All right, so you're going to hop into Aim Labs, and you're going to take the only like training stage you need, which is Grid Shot Ultimate, and you're going to do it three times, and I'm going to run you through all three. So the first is just for accuracy. We're going to take it slow. You want to kind of get used to the muscle memory of where the targets are, kind of get your body used to like the reaction of, you know, aiming. Um, so I just speed this up a little bit, walk you through the process. I'm not going for score. I'm just going for pure accuracy. And with this, I try to keep it at like a 95 to 100% hit rate. Uh, on this one, I do 100%, but you know, just going through the motions. When I'm training at this stage, I'm not just going for speed or like the score, you know, at the post screen. I'm still going for accuracy. So it's like a crossbreed of the mindsets. Accuracy still is in the back of my mind, but now I'm focusing on speeding up a little and actually getting a more desirable score. And then the third one, we just go for like good pathing. So we know we built up muscle memory, we've built up speed. Now we're going for pathing. You know, you want to hit the groups, you want to hit the clusters of targets rather than the individuals. And that's really what's going to be the thing that brings up your scores. So I use this as like a form of threat analysis. It's like, okay, can my brain dictate which group is the bigger threat? So if I can repeat that in a pug, it would be perfect because it means my brain can distinguish between an actual threat and one that's not exist. Um, and then we're going to pop into aimbots here. So we're going to section it off. We're going to take away the three sections and just focus on the one ahead of us. And we're also going to remove the farthest distance so that everything is spawning right in front of us. You know, uh, We're going to recalibrate, just make sure all of the aim practice that we just did out of CSGO translates into CSGO. And that way we can actually be efficient with the training, you know. Uh, I don't really do much in aimbots. I just kind of make sure that my movement is replicable of like what happens in server. So I'll go for like collaterals. I'll try to line up my movement. Just wake that part of my mind up. Because um, I know I can aim, but can I actually hit like the strings needed to you deliver the aim? That's really the question. And so I'll do this, I'll try to like learn the angles and see how precisely I can actually hit the angles between the targets. And then once I get happy with that, usually like a couple of hundred kills, I'll switch over to this recoil practice map. And I'll just walk you through it real quick. You really just take each rifle and do 30 spray practices with each. Uh, there's nothing too fancy to it like i just go through it takes about five or six minutes to do this um and so add aim labs aim bots plus this and then you just hop into a dm afterwards uh it's pretty consistent training 